Today we will be showing you how to replace the picker assembly on a quantum scalar I-40 and I-80 tape library. This replacement will require downtime and should be scheduled with the system administrator. The replacement procedure is the same for both libraries. If you need to order a replacement picker assembly from the Rocket Platform website, please use part number 3-05240-04. There are a couple of reasons you may have determined that you need a replacement picker assembly for your I-40 or I-80. If you have repeated robotics errors when trying to pick and put tapes from drives and magazines, or if the library will not initialize properly and comes up with an RCS failure. If either of these events is occurring, you will need to replace the picker. To begin, you will need to power the library down. Hit the power button once on the front panel and you will see the display show that the power down procedure has started. After approximately 10 to 20 seconds, the library should power off. If there is an issue that keeps the library frozen and unable to power down this way, you will need to go to the rear of the library and pull the power cables to power the library off. Once the library is powered off, go around to the rear of the machine and unplug the power cables if you have not already done so from the previous step. Then you will need to label all data cables going to the drives according to their location. Then they can be removed from the drives. Last, unplug the Ethernet cable from the remote management port if there is one installed. You can now return to the front of the library. You will now need to remove the library from the rack onto a cart or similar surface where you will be able to work on it. To do this, pull the library straight back and out of the rack. If this is an I-80 that is fully populated, we recommend having a second person assist you as these libraries can get quite heavy. Once you have the library pulled out of the rack and on a cart or other level surface to work on it, the first step will be to take the top cover off the library. The top cover is held in by small Phillips head screws that run down both sides of the top cover and also multiple points in the top cover itself. This is extremely important that you use the proper size screwdriver to remove these screws. They will strip out very easily if you don't. Once you have all screws removed and safely stored off to the side, you can remove the top cover, exposing the internals of the library. You will be able to see the picker inside. The first thing you will need to note is if the hand of the picker is engaged on any tapes. There may be instances where the picker stops working because it gets stuck on a tape. In this case, you will need to carefully rotate the white gear on the side of the picker so that the fingers swing down and disengage from the tape and the tape can be pushed back into the slot. Once you have verified that the picker is free of obstruction, you will need to carefully lift it out of the library. To do this, you will need to find the two points on the picker that have an orange sticker. Most of the time, this sticker will also have text that says lift here on it. Once you have located these two points, Gently lift up on the picker and it should glide up the tracks where you can lift it up to the top. If your picker is stuck and not gliding up the tracks, do not force it. Open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal and we will be happy to assist you. Now you can carefully disengage the picker from the top of the tracks, but do not pull it too far as it is still attached to the picker ribbon cable at the rear. You will need to rest it on top of the magazines so that you can undo the picker ribbon cable from the rear of the picker. To do this, carefully undo the pressure clip that holds the ribbon cable into the connector and then unseat the ribbon cable. You can now set the vaulty picker to the side and get your replacement. The first thing you will need to do with the replacement is verify that the gears are in the correct position to properly be set into the top of the four picker tracks. The reason for this is that the gears on the four corners of the picker are keyed and those keys all need to go down together and roll into the notches in the tracks at the same time. To ensure that the gears are all in the correct position, inspect the end of the bar where each gear is. You will notice a silver half circle located here. This half circle should be facing with the flat side towards the top so that it resembles a smiley face. You need to ensure that all four gears and their centers have the same orientation all at the same time prior to installing the picker assembly. If your gears do not line up or you cannot get them all oriented correctly in sync with each other, please stop here and open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Once you have ensured that all four gears are lined up correctly, you will now want to set the picker carefully on top of the magazines the same way you did when removing the faulty picker. Insert the picker cable into the connector fully and reseat the tension clip locking the cable in place. 
Now you can lift the picker by the two lift points and carefully get all four gears set into the top of the tracks together. All four gears must be at the top of the tracks together and set fully before you attempt to lower the picker into the library. Once you have confirmed all four gears are fully set, you can gently push down on the picker and it should glide smoothly down into the library. If the picker does not glide down smoothly, stop right away and do not force it. Remove the picker from the tracks and carefully ensure that the gears are all lined up and try again. It may take a few attempts to get the picker seated and installed properly. If you are still struggling to get the picker installed properly, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal and we will assist you. Once the picker is fully installed and sitting at the bottom of the library, you can replace the top cover and install all Phillips screws that hold the top cover in place. You can then carefully slide the library into the rack making sure it is secure. Then move to the rear of the library and install the ethernet and data cables according to the labeling that you did earlier. Last, install the power cables and then return to the front of the library and hit the power button once to power the library on. The library will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes to fully initialize depending on if it is an I-40 or an I-80. During this time, you should be able to audibly hear the robot moving around inside, doing the full initialization sweep and inventory of the machine. When the main status screen of the library appears, it is fully initialized and ready to go. You should go into the diagnostic tickets and clear any tickets related to robotics assembly prior to putting the library into production. We recommend running an inventory on the library through your backup software. The purpose of this is both to verify correct operation of the picker assembly and also to ensure that your backup software has the full location of all cartridges in the library in case any were moved during the replacement. Any questions in regards to backup software should be directed to your software support or manufacturer. If you have any issues with the picker replacement or the library still comes up with picker related errors after being replaced, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.